I live in the southeast, and uh, uh, you know, after that cancer scare I had, you know, a year or two ago with the with the prostate, which was on a previous podcast, you know, I take a little bit of different approach. Uh, most people that come into me, but it's, it, it's because they just don't feel well. You know, I don't need to tell them that they're overweight. They know it. Uh, you know, the the best piece of equipment that I found to use that you can find an expensive one or a cheap one, and it's a mirror. You know, you look in that mirror and you like to see what's looking back at you. You know, you know what you need to do. Uh, I take a very uh, straightforward approach with my patients. No judgment. No judgment there. If I can just get them to do the simple things first, and if we make some progress there, then I think down the road we can really make some serious changes. But what what I mean by that is that you know uh, the basics. If you can just cut out the four white devils, the bread, pasta, potatoes, and processed foods, sugars. If they do that, half the battle is won. Uh, you know, we're in the Southeastern Conference down here. A lot of football goes on. A lot of people like to drink here on the weekend. And uh, so we always said we'd be transparent and honest. And uh, hey, I drink beer. I draw, watch football. Um, my wife likes a tequila and, you know, tequila makes her clothes fall off. You think I'm going to hold her back from a drink? You're crazy. So, you're, uh, pouring, you're pouring her extra shot. <laughs> so that's right. So, right. So uh, the, 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 the thing is, is that we've got one life to live. I try to, I try to, to tell my patients that if you'll just do the right things 90% of the time, you know, we've got to live a little bit. You've got to be able to step outside the boundaries a little bit and have a little bit of fun in your life. Um, and so I, uh, you know, I try to uh, take a little bit of a different approach and, uh, and that if I can just start making some little changes, those will turn into big changes later. And, uh, that's really the way I, the way I approach my patients here. I know, fancy initial testing, uh, you know, uh, I would not treat a high caliber athlete or make any different recommendations for him than I would a 350 pound man that uh, had everything wrong with him. I mean, the, the same recommendations are for both of them. And so that's kind of how, I don't like the word diet. Yeah. I never use the word diet. Right. I, it's healthy life choices. So I want whatever will work is what you will stick to. Exactly, it's about patient adherence, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. So I am, uh, maybe I'm a simpleton, I'll admit it, uh, but, uh, but you know, I try to make it cost effective for the patients and I try to be realistic in that, you know, they, uh, not all of us can be restrictive and follow this strict right. guideline and, you know, never out, stray outside the boundaries. And so I try to develop a relationship with them and uh, tell them my weaknesses, acknowledge theirs and say, Hey, let's make the best of what we can make of ourselves. You know, uh, so, uh, you know, that, that's the way I approach it. Well, you do, I mean, very well said. And I, I think it totally works, but I do want to say, because I, obviously I know, you do you do recommend metformin to your patients, correct? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now look, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go into as much detail and be as restrictive and talk about exercise and diet as much as anyone wants to talk. Right. But if I get a 350 pound man in there, I mean, he's there because uh, he's made a conscious decision that he wants change in his life and so there's no judgment here i will take him on and i will do everything i can to make him better just like i will the you know 200 pound lean you know eight percent body fat guy so you know uh, you know it, you, you you take them as they come but yes i'm a big fan of metformin and of course we, of course we know what testosterone does i don't block estrogen because estrogen decreases visceral body fat we know that and so um uh, you know uh, you know i try to be uh as realistic as i can with 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 each individual patient that I have. 